hauntings in Pelsall have occurred due to historic trauma. The haunting of Shellfield Mill is just one example of this, with its terrifying ghost dating back to the English Civil War of 1643. Shellfield Mill House, photographed here, had always been a family home, but in the mill building behind, there had always been a number of businesses where over the years many people had worked. Shellfield Mill has a very long and very interesting history. It is recorded that Oliver Cromwell hid in the mill building during the Civil War, which is quite plausible since in 1643 the Royalists were making their way to Rushall in order to capture Rushall Hall. Whilst researching the history of Shellfield Mill, I was told by a past member of staff that one of the most disliked rooms in the building was known as the Oliver Cromwell Room. It was widely acknowledged that Oliver Cromwell hid in this room which existed in the oldest part of the mill building. I was told that this room always had a strange foreboding presence about it and workers always did their best to avoid this room. When I was taken to see it, the room was in darkness and unsafe to enter and the contents of it was only picked up by the flash on my camera. As you can see from the photograph, in the end the room was used as a storage area rather than a workstation as people refused to work in this room. However, as far as I'm aware, no one ever saw anything manifest itself in this room. Whilst writing my feature about Shellfield Mill back in 2002, I met Tom Hall, who owned and ran Pelsall Tool and Engineering, which was situated at the rear of the mill. The Nissan hut, which housed Tom's industrial equipment, was attached directly to the old mill building. While speaking to Tom one day, he related to me a rather strange experience that he had once when working in the Nissan hut. He told me that due to the nature of his job, it was always very noisy in the Nissan hut, with all the machinery working, and then there were always people milling about in there, getting on with their work. On this particular day, there was a visitor on the premises too, the business director at the time, Although he was near to retirement age, he used to pop in regularly to check on the progress of the business. Tom was working on a complex job and wanted to finish it before going to lunch, and so, as the others left the hut, Tom carried on. Shortly into his work, Tom felt a tap on his shoulder. He ignored it, as he was working on industrial machinery which he could not take his eyes off. A few moments later, it happened again. Furious, Tom defiantly ignored it again, with a view to reprimanding the prankster when he had finished. On finishing moments later, he stood up and turned sharply, expecting to see someone still there. However, he found himself completely alone in the machine shop. He then stormed off to find out who had tried to distract him whilst he was working on the machinery. What this prankster had done was not funny, but very dangerous. With no one about, Tom went to the office where he found the office director sitting with his feet up on the table reading a newspaper. Tom asked if anyone had been in the machine room whilst he had been working in there. The director assured Tom that no one had gone into the machine shop and he was sure of that because they would have had to have passed him first. If you ever worked at Shellfield Mill and you would like to share your paranormal experience, please get in touch.